October 2008, American airline tickets reached an all-time high as traveling from the Turks and Caicos Islands to Miami, Florida at the time reached more than $1,000 per ticket. News 4 interviewed a travel agent with Marco Travel, Chloe Zimmerman, who felt that these ticket prices were out of control. WIV visited her once again today to see if ticket prices have decreased since October 2008. They've gone down. They, they gone down the uh, beginning of January, but they're still very high. I mean, we still have the, uh, some of the higher fare in the Caribbean. If you book in advance, and so we'll be about, um, about 460 to $480. But it's a condition now difficult because you have to stay minimum three days. Now, if you go for just overnight or so, you can go all the way to $900 okay. in economy. So it's still very high. Zimmerman told News 4 that not only has the decrease in airfare been minimal, but that other Caribbean countries don't seem to be experiencing the same problem. I, I say it's high because compared to other Caribbean islands where uh, American Airlines flies, uh, the prices are higher. So we pay more here than other islands which are further down south, like Barbados and so. Zimmerman admitted that this is the high season, but with people cutting down on travel already due to the downward turn in economics, these prices are discouraging them even more. They're um, pretty upset. Yeah, well, they're pretty upset. They know the price. I mean, uh, you know, people traveling those days are very well informed, and, and they know what they're doing, they know how they travel, they know their price, and so. And uh, people are really upset with... Uh, with the fact that the prices are really high due to monopoly situation, maybe. Zimmerman told News 4 that she has been seeing less people buying tickets, and from what they tell her, in these hard economic times, these prices just aren't affordable.